Um, I'm endorsed with a company called Analysis Plus, and um, when you buy a cable, it comes in a box like this. And uh, we'll just open one up here. I use their base cable. It's called the Base Oval. And uh, it's actually a 16 gauge conductor, which is in, in it. But um, but this is the cable that I use. And um, you can see it's actually, it's not it's not really thin, but it's it's not too thick either. Um, actually, it's a, it's a pretty good, you know, thickness to this. Um, this is what it looks like. They're very durable. You can run over them with any kind of gear, any back line. And um, they, uh, they have these gold tips on them. And they sound amazing actually. They're, they're the best cable. That's why I kinda, I've hooked up with them because I've tried a whole bunch of different cables. And uh, these sound sonically the best. When, when I plugged it in I was like, wow, I can hear lower frequencies and higher frequencies that I couldn't hear before with all the other cables that I've used. And I've used a lot of different cables. I've borrowed cables from everyone, used everything from Monster to Megami to you name it. I, you know, I've tried it out. So Analysis Plus. Um, I'm going to show you a bunch of other cables I have with them. This is the uh, main one I use. It just has the 90 degree that's what I use in my base, so I use that. These are uh, just the speaker cables that I use to plug into my amps um, to connect my uh, the head to the cabs. I use the speak on. These are called the the clear ovals. You can kind of see right here, clear ovals. And these are also Analysis Plus. And also my pedal board are all having um, have you know these patch cables, these are all the six inch and I got a bunch of foots, one footers. These are also with the gold. And you can actually see that they have this, you know, on them here. It's pretty cool. So that's what I use and I'll show you my pedal board with all the cables in here. You can notice that I got it all decked out with the Analysis Plus cables. Um, Cleaned it up pretty good in the back here, in the bottom. But that's what I use. And um, plug straight into my pedal board using the Analysis Plus. Using the Analysis Plus um, patch cables. Straight another Analysis Plus into the cable. Everything. Pedal board that I use. I use Pedal Train. And um, it's the best pedal board you'll ever see. I don't, I've never seen any pedal board better than this. And um, actually, let me grab a new one out of the box. And you'll kind of see how it looks like without all the pedals on it. All right. So I just got this in the mail. You got, um, comes with a, this is the hard shell, um, the hard case junior, which is their smallest pedal board. But it, um, it's a big durable flight case. And let me open it up here. And this is what you get inside. You get a bunch of Velcro to Velcro it up. And they come up with all different sizes here. I think they got three models or four models. So this is the Junior. And um, it comes like this. It comes just flat. And what you do is you put the, you know, a lot of guitar players, you know this, but... You, know, you just put the rough side of the, the teeth of the Velcro on there, and then you put the soft side on your pedals. And also, um, if you're wondering what these are, these pop out. This is for your power, say your your brick power or whatever. You know, like um, actually, these are designed for Voodoo Lab power supplies. So what you do is they come with actually hinges that you put in the back here, and your Voodoo Lab sits right below everything, so it actually hides. And it comes out through here, where you can plug it in. And then there's also an external out on the Voodoo Labs that you can use. But that's um, pedal train here. Comes comes with the hinges for the Voodoo Lab. And uh, 
Here's a bigger model, you know, a larger pedal board right there that they use. And then just this just shows you how to put your Voodoo Lab on the bottom. It's very cool. Pedal train. Now I want to talk to you about the pedals that I use. And we got what we got here first is we got this um, chromatic tuner going into an RC booster and then uh, goes into that multi comp which is EBS I think uh, e I think EBS makes the best bass pedals um, it's the most um, transparent sound you'll get of your bass tone plus the effect and then also that multi comp runs into this Gristle King distortion pedal and then the Gristle King runs into the Dynover, which is another EBS pedal. And then I have it into uh, an AB selector, which is a Whirlwind's um, AB uh, pedal. And what I do is I have my bass plugged into that, into B, over here. And then I have my keyboard that plugs into A, because I do a lot of keyboard bass, too, in some gigs. And then also it runs into this... Oh, it runs into this JB, JDI uh, DI box, which actually just makes the sound amazing. It's awesome. And so also I use, um, I power everything up with um, visual sound, one spot. And that's all it is. Just this one simple little adapter powers all these pedals. And they can actually power up to 50 pedals at once. And they, I've had no problem. It's the best little thing, and I just keep it on the spot. So pe I keep it on the the side here, so people can actually see what it is when I play. And those are my pedals. Um, I'm with this company called Scratch Pad USA, and what it is is that um, sometimes you have a really nice guitar, you don't want to get it scratched, or you've had a nice guitar or bass and it's got scratched up because of a belt buckle, because of your jeans, because of something that's metal, you know, around your waist. But um, there's these guys at Scratch Pad, and what they do is they make these pads. Let me grab one here. And it's uh, a velvet. It looks like this. But what you do is you take, the, you take it off, and you stick it on the back of your bass or your guitar, and it just protects your text your really nice guitars. You can stick it on any kind of guitar. And um, and I'll demonstrate right here how to put one on. So I got my got my Paul Reed Smith private stock bass right here. And I'm gonna attempt to put on a scratch pad. So what I do is when you first get a scratch pad, you just you just peel it off like that. Then make sure that your bass is um, clean, you know, make sure there's nothing on there. And then also, um, you just pull it off here, it peels off. This one I have a graphic on it of the skull here. And then, I don't know if I can put this down here like this. There we go. And then you just lay it on top like that. There, that's perfect. You just like that, and there you go. A scratch pad on the back, and nothing's gonna scratch this, you know, fine piece of work here that Harry Smith made. And also, you got a cool design, and so sometimes you can sh flash this off to a crowd. Um, you know, it's pretty funny. You go like this, and in the middle of a show, you can go, woo, and yeah, spooky. Yeah. Anyways, and then um, you can take them off. They're removable, and you can take them off. They're uh, reusable as many times as you want. And you just peel it off like that. That's it. And you can put them back on and it sticks. And it's it's amazing. And so that's what I just want to show with you guys. Scratch Pad USA with pedal train, analysis plus cables, and visual sound for uh, pedals and their uh, power supplies. So I hope that helps you guys out for the sound that I get. And I'll... See you soon.